Uh, this is Kevin Kimball, and we're continuing on with our pivot table reports. Now we'll begin to use the customer reports data worksheet in the workbook. This is from the MSXL practice file of sample customer reports. And on our first pivot table report with this worksheet, we would like to analyze the customer buying patterns. So we'd like you to create a report that provides for each customer the total sales amount of each product during each of the four quarters. This report should be able to assist management to recognize its customers' spending patterns during each quarter. So we'll tab over to the um, Customer Reports Data Worksheet, as referred to here, Customer Reports Data. And in this Customer Reports Data, we're, as you can see, it's been titled up properly. We've got data on every single row, so we can just simply go into here, make sure we are on the Insert Ribbon, choose Pivot Table. The data selection is fine. Choose OK. And as mentioned, we want to know for each customer the products that were sold to that customer. And we want to know that for quarter one. In fact, I don't want to put it there. I'm going to drag quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. Let's drag that down a little bit. Okay, I have to drop it in there. I'm going to have to give myself a little more room here to pull that in. Quarter four. But as you can see right now, the values that are being brought into here are the count, meaning how many times, how many different times does this show up? It's the count of aniseed syrup in quarter four. So we need to change these to be the sum. So we're going to drop, hit the drop down button. I know this is off the screen, but at the very bottom of this, it says value field settings. And instead of count, I want to choose sum. Okay. So I can maybe drag this up so you would be able to see that. Let me try that again. Um, this may be a little tough for you to see these. I'll bring, bring it down. Okay, I'll, here, here's one that you should be able to see. So this is the second one. And as you can see, value field settings. So these others will be cut off. But uh, value field settings, choose that. Choose sum instead of count. And as you can see, these are changing. Let's go down to the next one. Next one is count value field settings, sum, OK. And the final one, change the count to be value field settings, sum, and OK. So the purpose of this uh, pivot table report is simply to show you that you've got this customer, they bought these products, and this is the sum of how much they purchased in these different quarters. And as you can imagine, we can even go uh, just like this and uh, you know highlight all the way down and we could change the uh, the formatting or we could just hit these column like that so we can change the formatting here to maybe do be a column a comma or if we're in it we could actually go into the actual um, values themselves and choose value field settings and change the number format there so that, there's different places where you can change that I found in this case it was fast to just highlight the columns all four of them at once and then just use the uh, home format tab so that should get you where you need to go. Uh, as you've probably seen in other videos, there is a design feature here where you can actually choose different designs. And so, you know, you can choose one of these. And, you know, it's just it's kind of your personal preference. I'm going to control Z to put it back to how it was. But there are some different design features there. So hopefully you got that, and we will stop there.